So what I have here is surnames by counties of mixed Negroid Virginia families striving to pass as Indian or white by Walter Plecker, CA 1943. And this is from the Encyclopedia of Virginia Humanities. Okay, so when you scroll down, you see it says in this pamphlet dating about 1943, Walter A. Plecker, the state registrar of Virginia, vital statistics list the surnames of Virginians he suspects trying to pass as Indian or white. Now, I want you to remind you that my family names are Hill, Carter, Owens, and Anderson. So let's see if any of these names are up here for trying to, you know, that they, they're saying are of Negroes of mixed race from Virginia families striving to pass as Indian and white. So if you're on this list, you're a Negro of mixed race trying to be an Indian or white. If you're not on this list, that means that you're an Indian. Your people were Indians or white because you're not on this list. So let's go. Albemarle, Moon, Powell, Kid, Pumphrey, Amherst, migrants to the Allegheny and Campbell, Adcock or Adcox, Beverly. This family is now trying to evade the situation by adopting the name of Birch or Birch, which was the name of the white mother of the present generation. Branham, Duff, Floyd, Hamilton, Heartless, Hicks, John, Lawless, Knuckles, Painter, Ramsey, Red Cross, Robert, Southers, 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 Soros, Terry, Tyree, Phyllis, Clark, Cash, Wood, Bedford, is Mc, Mc, McVeigh, Maxie, Branham, Burley, C. Amherst County, Rockbridge, Migrants to Augusta, Cash, Clark, Clo Coleman, Duff, Floyd, Heartless, Hicks, Mason, Mice, Mays, Painters, Pauls, Ramsey, Southards, 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 Sorrels, Terry, Tyree, Woods, Johns, Charles City, Collins, Dennis, Bradby, Howell, Langston, Stewart, Wynn, Atkins, King, Williams, Collins, Dennis, Bradby, Howell, Langston, Stewart, Wynn, Cut to the Cut to Low, Dungo, Home, Miles, Page, Almond, Adams, Hawks, Spurlock, Doggett, New Kent, Collins, Bradby, Stewart, Wynn, Atkins, Langston's, Henrico, and Richmond City, C. Charles City, New Kent, and King William, Caroline, Bird, Fortune, Nelson, C. Essex, and King and Queen, Nelson, Fortune, Bird, Cooper, Tate, Hammond, Brooks, Boughton, Prince, Mitchell, Robinson, Elizabeth City, and Newport News. Stewart, descendants of Charles City, families, Halifax, Epps, Eeps, Stewart, Stewart, Coleman, Johnson, Martin, Talley, Shepherd, Young, Norfolk County, and Ports, Mount, Sawyer, Bass, Weaver, Locklear, Locklear, King, Bright, Porter, Ingram, Westmoreland, Sorrels, Worlds, or Worrell, Atwells, Gutridge, Cliff, Green, Shiflet, Shiflet, Prince William, Tyson, Seagar, C. Fauquier, Fauquier, Hoffman, Huffman, Riley, Colvin, Phillips, C. Prince William, Lancaster, Dorsey, Dawson, Williams, 
Beverly, Barlow, Thomas, Hughes, Lethco, Worley, Roanoke County, Beverly, C. Washington, Lee, Smythe, Collins, Gibbs, Gibson, Moore, Goins, Ramsey, Delph, Bunch, Freeman, Miso, Barlow, Bolden, Bolin, Mullins, Hawkins, Chiefly, Tennessee, Milligans, Scott, Dingus, C. Lee County, Russell, Keith, Cassell, Stillwell, Miei, Prophet, C. Lee, and Tazwell, Tazwell, Hammond, Duncan, C. Russell, Wise, C. Lee, Smythe, Scott, and Russell counties. So as you can see here, you don't see any hill, Anderson, Carter, or even Smith or Owens. You don't see none of these names up here that they could say are mixed Negroid Virginia families striving to pass as Indians. Okay? So my people were from the Virginias and they're not classified as this by Walter Plecker per this document. So this is this is the evidence that I have to show that my people were free people of color because they their names are not on this list. And they were Indians. Because if they weren't Indians, their name would be on this list. My family names would be on this list. And you don't see my family names on this list because my people were free people of color and they were able to move around in America during this time. So what we have here is something from a book called Free Blacks of Virginia. And this is a personal narrative, a legal construct. So what they talk about here in this uh, paragraph right here, it says the author demonstrates research, demonstrates a systematic removal of legal rights from blacks starting in the mid 1600s and continuing up to the start of the Civil War in 1723. For example, the Virginia colonial legislation legislator abolished voting rights for free blacks and Indians. You see that? Free blacks and Indians after they had possessed these rights for over a century. So, you see that? In 1723, the Virginia colonial legislation abolished voting rights for free blacks and Indians after they had possessed these rights for over a century. So, free blacks and Indians had voting rights for over a hundred years until 1723. Even though black men were granted the right to vote by the 15th amendment to the constitution, it would take the events accompanying the civil rights struggle in Selma, Alabama before the United States Congress passed Voting Rights Act in 1965 to fully restore these rights. The author concludes by questioning whether the social interactions between whites and free blacks with their ability to manage financial affairs by owning lands and business undercut racial justification for slavery. Now, you know, the key wording here is free blacks and Indians because you have free blacks and you have free Indians. And this is way back when. So. You know. So, as you can see in this journal, as it says, prior to 1670, Professor Russell stated, the status of Africans who came or were brought to Virginia was not determined by statute law either before or after that date. In the 1624 to 1625 census, 23 
Africans were listed in the Virginia colony as servants and thus received the same class name as many whites. County records created between 1632 and 1661 designated blacks as servants, Negro servants, or simply Negroes, but never slaves. So you see, six, the census, the census said there were only 23 Africans in 1632 to 1631 designated as six, 23 